Hello and welcome again to this second Autodesk Inventor 2019 video tutorial on the 3D modeling of a con rod. So today I'll be showing you how to edit some features in case you are not fully happy with them. And so let's say this hole doesn't seem centered. So if I go on my model tree and find my hole. I can just double click on the sketch, um, change that, make it 37 mil, press enter, finish the sketch, and now that should automatically update. That looks much better now. Um, the next thing that I will be doing is I will be splitting this comrade into two parts, something that we didn't do in the previous video. So I'll be using the split command. Um, previously we tried to use the trim solid tool and today we'll be using the split solid tool. So Inventor has already selected my only solid. I will now select my split tool which will be my exit plane. And I will click on apply. So now when I go on my, on my solid bodies, I have solid 2 and solid 3. So we can use this as our master copy for the con rod if we wish to edit it. And now we can right click on the solid and click on make part. So we can call this con rod top. Click on OK to save it. And as you can see, it has been saved as a separate component. And you can do the same with the bottom. You can select it, right click, make part, convert, bottom, and click on apply. Sorry, I was supposed to click on OK, so I'll go make part, conrod, bottom, and click on OK. So here we have our conrod bottom now. So it has been already placed on an assembly file. So what I would do with this, I would always keep my master copy um, for editing. And then whenever I change something on my master copy, um, it would update this part file. I will do that rather than trying to update um, the part file separately. Um, the only thing you have to be careful with is you should always keep your master copy in the same location with the other ones because these parts are linked to the master copy. So that means that if you delete your master copy, you won't be able to access this on Inventor because they need it as a reference. So the only way to make these parts fully independent is by right clicking here um, clicking on suppress link with base component that will temporarily suppress the link and make this part temporarily independent so if you wish to update it after you've suppressed it you just you can just go on unsuppress link and you can update the part or otherwise you can break the link which I don't recommend because if if there is something um, wrong with the file or you need to update it, you won't be able to re-establish the link. So this will be the end of this modeling of a Conrad tutorial. So thank you very much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.